Okay guys, so laying out the interior of a crypt or even underground in general is probably one of the hardest things for me personally. Mainly because like you gotta dig it out in a way that kind of makes sense and it's really kind of difficult to do that. So what I do, my method in order to make the underground is I use inspiration. I use a, like I go online and I look for dungeon layouts or dungeon uh, map or something like that and it gives me an, a, a basic idea of where I want my rooms. Here is the example that I used for this tomb or this crypt. Uh, it's not really, it doesn't have anything to really do with what I'm doing, uh, but it gave me the inspiration I needed in order to make it and I sort of made it make sense. So anyways, let's go ahead and explore this. So this is the main entrance hall. You come in here and then there's like all kinds of crypts on the walls as you can see here. Uh, you got, I think, 48 in here, so 12 times 4 is 48, yeah. Uh, there's 48 crypts in here. I'm probably going to add more, like make them even taller. Uh, this is just a prototype kind of thing. I'm going to be adding it. I'm going to be working on this quite a bit, but I want to make I may, I want to make it look very grand in here, so like it looks very to me, you know? Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down here. This is, uh, I think I might actually make this look more secret like just put like a little one by door there or something I don't know um, there see in the picture there was like a secret entrance underneath a crypt that's supposed to be right here but I just kind of made it through the wall here but anyway you come down this way and then this is the start you know basically where all the soldiers more soldiers are kept this is the soldiers crypt like uh, the Knights so like I said before am nuke was a great soldier and all of his um, all of his soldiers that died in the battle that uh, you know this crypt was made for uh, they were all buried in here and there's probably gonna be crypts all down this causeway I don't even know what this end room is going to be yet for right now I just have it as a storage room but that's probably most probably most likely it's most likely going to change to something more practical in the sense of a crypt um, or something unique I don't know that's probably gonna change uh, by the next time I update so that is that's like a big thing about this is it's really difficult to figure out layouts for your builds so that's why I use inspiration so what the idea here is the custom is a storage me dried food ritual it's kind of like a, a thing where you know the dead might wake up and you know they might be hungry so they would come into the storage room grab their meat and everything so they would be buried with a whole lot of food and meat and stuff and then this here is the feast hall and there's gonna be like a big like open fireplace there's gonna be no fire in it but it's just gonna be a big open fireplace I'm not quite sure how I'm going to light this place up um, it's probably going to be very dark in here uh, by the end result and then you come into here this is where all the bones to all the um, all the enemies were like the enemy army uh, they were all thrown into here all the bones of the enemy army in here so um, you know they would collect all those bones, all those bodies, and they'd throw them into this pit. And that would be sort of like a ode to, uh, you know, to honor the dead soldiers here that fought for whatever cause that they were fighting for. And so now we're headed to the tomb where the, uh, the master is, or the great master of the, um, you know, where Amnuk is actually buried. And it'll be in here somewhere. I'm gonna work on this a good bit more and it's gonna be a pretty fancy tomb, I think. So it's gonna look different, but this is gonna be more or less a natural cave in here. So then you come in here and then you go up this way and this leads up to a secret entrance out. This is gonna be the treasure room. So it's very Skyrim themed. And then you come up here and then the secret entrance out is right here. Now I'm not gonna show you where that leads because I don't want you coming in through the secret entrance. So um, anyways, that is where the secret entrance is and that's how you get in through this tomb and everything. So like I said, uh, one of the biggest things about when you're making a crypt, use inspiration, just Google like dungeon or uh, crypt layout or map or whatever and that'll give you a whole bunch of different pictures and designs that you can go off of, uh, Skyrim maps, you know, stuff like that and it's really helpful when you're designing things like this. So anyways guys, I hope that you um, are as excited as I am. My next update, I am going to finish this 
up and get it all nice and pretty and then explain my process as I uh, have finished that up. So anyways, let's get started. Da, 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 da. Alright guys, so we have finished this bad boy up and I'm excited to show you what the progress is. And it's going to be pretty shocking, I guess, because it's going to be a huge difference uh, from what we had earlier. So this is the tomb or the crypt. The uh, but this is like more or less the facade tomb. This is like what you just come into and you're like, okay, this must be it. And you're looking around and you're just enjoying the scenery and everything. And then you find out, mm, this, well, this isn't too much. There has to be more. So you're looking around. You're like, what's going on? You see this here, and you're like, what is that? What's going on? And then you're like, no, oh, there's nothing under there. Maybe it's the same thing. You're like, ah, oh, there's another trap door. And you're like, oh, there's a hole. So anyway, this here is the main entrance into the crypt. This here is just a facade, kind of like, um, what do you call those thing? Majiggers. I have them all over the outside. A shrine, basically. That's basically what this is. It's just a shrine and an empty little uh, thing majigger here. Maybe just some bones of some other people or something. I don't know. Um, but there will be a download to this, by the way, guys. Uh, it'll be of my larger Kevic Stone download. So uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, um, by the time this ep episode or this video is uploaded, uh, Kevic Stone will most likely already be out, or if not, it'll be out later, and you guys can check that out. It'll be in my time lapse playlist, and you can check out the download. There is so much to explore in Kevic Stone. So anyway, you come to here, and you can go left or right. I use this, which is the uh, the underwater glowstone themed thing. I really liked it because like, maybe it's some kind of magical stone in there that is uh, producing light. So I don't have them everywhere, just every so often I thought it was a pretty cool idea. So now we're going to go down to the left here and you'll notice that there's all these little crypts on the side. This is where all the honorable dead, all the warriors are uh, that fought with Amnuk as they fought for honor and glory on the great river. Uh, something like that. but. <clears throat> they're all buried here and you got them all along here so this is basically like a big warrior graveyard thing with jigger now this here is a skylight um, where the light would come through I just thought it'd be a cool idea to add in some natural light here it's kind of I guess kind of odd looking in some regards but I really like the idea and I use those stone trap doors to make it look more interesting instead of just placing these glass pieces all the way up I used the stone trap doors and I really thought that that looked really good so that is that and we're just gonna go down here really quick it's just supposed to be a little Easter egg down here just a little something to make things exciting I guess but you know I just put some heads of some people Victor's head uh, Raven's head this is helicopter Helen's head because um, she's been very helpful to me lately. Uh, I got Roll's head, Monster Fish's mine, Pigland, and etc. Lots of skulls around. Some kind of like evil worshipping thing where they're resurrecting the dead. And maybe we are the dead and we're being resurrected. I don't know. You guys can just fill in the blank there. There's really nothing to that. It's just kind of something silly to add in. Um, but that's, you know, that's not part of the crypt tutorial show around building thing anyways shall we continue so we're gonna go this way and another cool thing that you can add into your crypts is obviously the bones in the walls like here's a bunch of st uh, stone and stuff um, basically to get this all you need is to get the end stone block see it's a 121 colon 8 and uh, that is end stone and you can get that and you can also get the other one which is this which looks like a uh, big skeleton. I actually think I might add in that on both sides. So it looks a little more interesting, I guess. I like that a good bit. Cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna keep going this way. Uh, I got a little shrine here of sorts. Not even sure what that's supposed to be, but whatever. And uh, so this here is some storage where um, some stuff would go. Actually, what I'm gonna do here, because behind this is something. Um, so we're just gonna do that because uh, that was a little oopsie, but uh, may the honorable dead feast in the afterlife, their souls to never starve in Katarn. Whatever Katarn is, I don't know, it's just a weird name I came up with. But this is all kind of food and drink. Here's some meat on the wall over here. And that's what they would uh, 
you know they would eat and drink and be merry and such like that and that's why there's all this food in here is because in their culture they believed that the dead would use this to um, you know satis satiate their appetites in the afterlife or something of that sort I don't know again we got a big causeway here it goes all the way to the end there and there's lots and lots of crypts in this but then you go left here and there's lots of weapons and stuff here and then here we go doom souls of the hardened fell barbarians I don't even know why I did that you know why they called them the hardened fell it's just something weird but this is where the enemy army that they fought this is where all their bones were taken and thrown kind of together in this mass grave um, so it's it would probably be kind of stinky in here if you get what I'm saying you know but uh, you got lots of bones in the walls and such like that I would hate to be the people that have to make this because you had to touch all the bones and you know and arrange arrange all the skulls to look kind of like artistic I guess and then you know in here you just kind of throw everything so you just imagine this is like a big circular mound of bones there so then we go back up so basically when you're building a crypt you know just have a lot of these like this you gotta have some sort of storyline or some sort of uh, like reason why there would be a lot of little crypts all the way along like a lot of little tombs and such and that is um, why that is as it is so then you come down this way um, there's still lots of weird storage things and then you come into here and this is the uh, I guess the throne room to uh, represent that maybe this the Amnuke was maybe a lord over something and so they decide to make a throne room to um, to honor him you know in his in his death and maybe they believe that building a throne room would put him into a higher echelon of of uh, you know whatever in the afterlife and such like that so that's why they built this I thought this was pretty interesting and then you got some tombs over here for the uh, honored dead I guess uh, they would be in there a little pool thing and then the best part boo 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 whenever you open the door it goes boo see boo <clears throat> and whoops Boo! Yes, that, that's what that's for is uh, you got some skeletons in here with a sound effect that goes Boo! Now well, that's just me, but anyways. Shall we continue? Yes, we shall continue. So now we head down this way and there's some more uh, crypts on these walls and such. I try to make each crypt different, um, like, you know, this one has some gold. Uh, even the ones down there have things. Here's some pots up here. Uh, this one has bones, this one has um, that. In fact, I had said that I was going to do something, um, but this is just like a little Easter egg. I'm gonna put, I, I'm not sure if she watches my videos or not, but this is Arwen's little crypta there. Um, I said I was gonna make her a tomb over on Facebook so guys that maybe just maybe just something like that would uh, encourage you guys to follow me on Facebook and stuff because um, she asked for me to you know make her a nice little place in the uh, tomb so that's what I did so there we go Arwen so if you guys respond to me on Facebook I might do special things like that for you so anyways here is like anyone cares but anyway here is a uh, this is the actual cave to the crypt where Amnuk is actually buried and you come into here and I just wanted to add some fantasy in so like maybe this beacon is some kind of magical thing jigger that makes greenery grow and so I added a lot of blue flowers lots of skulls down here so I added that ice in you know different kinds of uh, algae and stuff like that I really thought it would be a cool idea to add stuff like that in to make it a little more interesting and you come up and then there's this path of the ever burning candles that never burn out and you come up this way and uh, there's some biome issues but oh well I'm not gonna deal with that anyway this is the actual tomb where Amnuk is buried Lord Amnuk Ironside died a hero and then even to add some extra detail I added in um, even some bones and a sword under there and uh, just things like that like things you'll never see but just things that are interesting and are uh, you know add in some depth um, there's really nothing much more interesting there to see but then you come up this way and then you have the typical gold at the end of the journey kind of thing and it, this actually overlooks the 
um, the great hall, which is below. And I added the light up here because I really wanted to add in some light. And then you go up this way, and then I'm not going to show you what's behind this door because I want you guys to explore. I don't want you just finding the secret entrance in from the other way. You know, I want you to come in through the front and explore this for yourselves. Um, now, this isn't a huge crypt. This isn't like some massive, giant, enormously big, huge crypt or anything like Aldern Hill. Like This is just a normal sized crypt and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I'm not going to drag you guys on anymore. I hope you enjoyed it overall and I hope that it was inspiring. Um, I just wanted to make a video to sort of show you, you know, the building progress of a crypt and uh, this has taken me a few days to do because building underground is my Achilles heel. It's very difficult and it's uh, very hard for me to commit to building underground because I don't know why. I just... It's just how I am. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you liked it. Um, hopefully you learned something and it was helpful and beneficial in some regard, in some ways, somehow. I don't know. Even though I didn't do like a block by block tutorial and such like that, I hope that um, it gave you the idea of what, um, you know, how you know you can do a crypt. Like this is just a style of a crypt that you can do. And I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye-bye.